Bert Rutan isn't just a plane designer, he's an aviation mad scientist. From asymmetrical fuselages to planes that look more like insects than aircraft, his creations have baffled, amazed, and changed aviation forever. Today, we're counting down the top 10 most bizarre Burt Rutan planes ever built. Wow! Number 10. Meet the Very Vigan, Model 27. Burt Rutan's first love affair with weird, wonderful aviation in 1972. Think of it as the quirky cousin of a fighter jet inspired by Sweden's Saab 37 Vigan, but built for regular humans with a penchant for tinkering in their garages. Its signature canard layout, a tiny forewing at the front paired with a stubby delta wing, was basically Rutan saying, stalls? Spins? Not on my watch. And with a rear-mounted pusher propeller, it literally pushed the envelope and the plane forward. Lightweight aluminum made it friendly for home builders while its nimble handling and short takeoff landing distances meant it could practically do a pirouette on a runway. Only a few were ever built, but the Vari Vigan's bold mix of safety, performance, and downright weirdness laid the foundation for Rutan's later masterpieces like the Very Ease and Long Easy. Number 9. Say hello to the Very Ease, Model 31. Bert Rutan's swooping little genius that took flight in 1975 and basically screamed, Yes, canards can be cool. Building on the lessons of the Varivigan, this sleek, futuristic aircraft had a short, stubby main wing with a tiny forward canard up front, perfect for pilots who like to feel safe without sacrificing style. Its rear-mounted pusher propeller meant no one was smacking their face into the prop on takeoff, and the lightweight composite construction made it both strong and surprisingly easy for home builders to assemble in their garages. Think IKEA, but with wings. With a cruise speed of around 160 to 180 miles per hour, the Very Ease could zip along faster than a confused seagull while sipping very little fuel, and its unusual shape turned heads at every air show. Number 8. Enter the Long Ease Eed, Bert Rutan's stretched out aerodynamic answer to What if my plane could go farther, faster, and look like it came from the future? First flying in 1979, the Long EZ took the canard and pusher layout from the Very Ease and gave it a serious upgrade, longer fuselage, bigger fuel tanks, and even more head-turning curves. Pilots loved it for its incredible range, efficiency, and smooth handling, while home builders cheered because it was still lightweight and manageable, like building a rocket that politely waits for you to finish lunch. <laughs> the Long EZ could cruise around 180 to 200 miles per hour, glide like a bird, and sip fuel like a minimalist cafe latte, making cross-country adventures totally doable. And yes, it still had that quirky Rutan charm, with a nose-up landing style that made you feel like you were piloting a spaceship instead of a plane. Number 7. Say hello to the quickie, Bert Rutan's pint-sized speed demon that first zipped into the skies in 1978 and practically dared pilots to blink. This tiny home-built marvel took Rutan's canard and pusher philosophy and crammed it into a minimalist, almost cartoonishly small fuselage, giving it the look of, what if a plane went on a diet? What? Despite its size, the quickie could cruise around 150 to 160 miles per hour, 240 to 260 kilometers per hour, and reach top speeds of up to 180 miles per hour, 290 kilometers per hour while still sipping fuel like a polite cafe latte. Pilots reported it was like flying a go-kart with wings, nimble, exhilarating, and a bit cheeky, with short takeoffs and playful handling that demanded respect. Its unusual, head-turning design cemented the quickie as one of the quirkiest and most beloved entries in Rutan's bizarre lineup, proving that small could still be mighty and wildly fun. Number 6. The Defiant is Bert Rutan's answer to what if a twin-engine plane could be ridiculously safe and a little weird? First flown in 1978, this twin-engine push-pull aircraft was designed so that if one engine failed, the plane wouldn't yaw uncontrollably like a typical twin. It would keep flying straight, making it perfect for cautious adventurers or slightly paranoid pilots. Its long, slender fuselage and rear pusher forward tractor configuration gave it a unique silhouette that turned heads at every air show. While lightweight construction and efficient aerodynamics meant it was both practical and fun to fly, capable of carrying a small crew in comfort, 
The Defiant proved that Rutan could take even a seemingly conventional mission, safe, reliable twin-engine travel, and infuse it with clever, unconventional design, making it both bizarre and brilliantly functional. Number 5. The Catbird, which first flew in 1988, looks like a long-legged bird that decided cross-country travel was overdue. This five-seat pusher canard aircraft combined efficiency, speed, and a touch of luxury, featuring a sleek fuselage, triple tail fins for stability, and lightweight composite construction. Capable of cruising around 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour, and reaching a top speed of about 250 miles per hour, 400 kilometers per hour, it managed impressive performance while sipping fuel like a skybound Prius. Pilots praised its smooth handling, remarkable efficiency, and surprisingly roomy cabin, proving that Rutan could create a plane that was not just quirky, but also shockingly practical and capable. Number 4. The Ski Gull is the amphibious oddball that proves Bert Rutan can make even a seaplane look like a futuristic concept car. With its sleek, gull wing design, retractable skis, and a pusher propeller, this plane can hop between water, snow, and traditional runways with the ease of a caffeinated mountain goat. Designed for efficiency, versatility, and long-range adventures, the Ski Gull combines Rutan's signature canard layout with lightweight composite construction, making it both practical and playful. Its spacious cockpit and clever engineering mean pilots can tackle lakes, rivers, or snowfields without breaking a sweat, or the plane. Quirky, innovative, and just a little daring, the Ski Gull is proof that Rutan isn't afraid to mix fun, functionality, and a dash of the unexpected. Number 3. The Boomerang is Bert Rutan's love letter to asymmetry, a plane that looks like it was designed by someone who lost a bet with geometry but somehow made it work spectacularly. First flown in 1996, this twin-engine asymmetric aircraft was engineered to solve a very practical problem. If one engine fails, the plane doesn't yaw uncontrollably like a traditional twin. It keeps flying straight, thanks to its unusual layout. With a longer fuselage on one side, a shorter on the other, and a distinctive forward canard, the boomerang manages efficiency, safety, and quirky aesthetics all in one package. Pilots praise its remarkably smooth handling, excellent visibility, and clever engineering, making it both a head-turner and a functional marvel. Number 2. The Voyager, Model 76, is the ultimate aviation daredevil, the plane that literally went farther than any other before it, without refueling. First flown in 1984, this record-breaking aircraft was designed specifically for endurance. Featuring a long, slender fuselage, twin booms, and a lightweight composite structure that made it both efficient and eerily elegant, its massive wingspan, longer than some small airfields, gave it the lift it needed to carry enormous fuel tanks, while the canard layout and rear-mounted propeller ensured stability and control over thousands of miles. In 1986, the Voyager made history by completing the first non-stop, unrefueled flight around the world, a feat that stunned the aviation community and secured its place as one of Rutan's most legendary creations. Number 1. Spaceship One is Bert Rutan's rocket-powered rebel that literally took his aircraft designs out of this world. First launched in 2003, it became the first privately built manned spacecraft to reach space, winning the Ansari X Prize and proving that Rutan's flair for quirky innovation could conquer the cosmos. Its unique feathered re-entry system allowed the craft to slow down and descend safely by changing its shape mid-flight a move that made it look like a mechanical bird performing an aerial somersault. The craft's lightweight composite structure, rear rocket engine, and bold design made it both radical and remarkably safe, demonstrating that even a small, privately funded team could achieve what once required superpowers or billion-dollar government budgets. And there you have it. 10 of Burt Rutan's most bizarre, brilliant, and downright head-turning aircraft. Each plane in this list isn't just a flying machine, it's a statement, a little rebellion against convention, and a testament to what happens when creativity meets engineering genius. So next time you see a normal plane at the airport, just remember, somewhere out there, a Rutan creation is pushing the boundaries of what's possible, and maybe, just maybe, daring you to imagine the skies differently.